up guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith channel. Let's have some fun. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We have a fun one today. Quick fuel up, we're actually on our way to go rent an Audi R8, something completely different for you guys. Uh, and the reason being is because we've had a little bit of success with the YouTube channel now, we've made a couple grand, and we want to invest a little bit back into the channel and content for you guys. And so we're curious if you guys would like to see more exotic and high-end cars in the vlogs. Today we're gonna have a lot of fun with it, going into detail, talking about the thing. But first, we gotta go pick it up. We're doing a rental from Turo, and I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. We'll see you guys there. Turn left, then the destination is on your right. Guys, we are closing in. I cannot wait for you to see this thing. The anticipation is building. It's a red R8. The thing is going to be pretty sick. We're going to meet with the owner, grab the keys, and then give you the update once we've got them in our hands. Whoop, there it is. We see it. She's in the lot. Oh, baby. Things looking pretty dapper. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so we got the car. Owner handed over the keys. We're pretty excited. We're thinking about doing a lot of stuff with it. Uh, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a typical vlog on this channel without some fishing. And uh, we don't have any rods that will fit in the trunk, which is up here, of this car. So we got to go ahead and grab some two-piece rods. We're also going to maybe go to our old stomping grounds, the skate park, see if a skateboard won't fit in the front of this thing, and uh, just have a ton of fun. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go to the skate park real quick, and then we are going to run home, drop off the STI, and go for a cruise in this thing, and make some fun videos. Let's go ahead. Sweet! Let's see if we got any kind of room in here. Oh boy. That's tight, that's tight, that's tight. I think we can make it happen though. Nice and easy. Look at that a snug fit. She ain't moving. Let's go ahead and hit the park, baby. Yeah. Quick shoe swap. Got the Ron in here for some cool footage. Got the whips parked and we are ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and make this happen. It's shaping up to be a nice day. I'm actually gonna take this thing off because it's getting a little warm. Yo! Got it. Let's go. Oh, that's right? <laughs> Tell them. Fun fact for the majority of you that probably do not know this, but Weston and I met at the skate park. Not this one specifically, but growing up whenever we were in our teens, this was our stomping grounds. And we were here almost every single day. And so it brings back a lot of memories being here, which is pretty cool. So we'll show you a bit of it. and. Uh, I don't even know if I can still stand on a skateboard anymore, honestly. <laughs> the trucks seem a little loose. This is sketchy. I'm gonna see if I can't even like get a kickflip anymore. Woo. Backside flip. Almost. All right, I'm gonna try a few things up the step, but we're gonna be in and out of here. When did backside flips get so scary? All right, all right, all right. Next try, commit, commitment. Oh, that was it, go! Didn't get the revert. <laughs> Stupid. <sighs> Thought I just landed it. Board whipped around and hit my ankle. This is about retarded. Okay, dad gummit. So I didn't suck. Woo! Too clean, baby. All right. And then screw this step up. I'm already over it. My ankles. It's feeling better now. Adrenaline's pumping. Got the trick. Try front three. I used to have these down pat, but I bet you it's gonna take a minute. All right, second try. Second try. y'all we're hitting this bowl brings back some memories I actually passed out in a tournament because of this thing I was like carving around the corners here and then I went down like that waterfall just pretty much face first face first lost control hit my head down there and uh, anyways if I'm not the brightest it's probably because of that back in the day let's see if we can't get a little run in this thing should be uh, should be good Ha <laughs> 
That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I think that wraps up the skate park session. Just wanted to do a couple, a little throwback, man. You guys haven't seen much skating in the vlog. So Devin and I, today we're balling on a budget, man. We rented the R8. We paid $398.59 for this bad boy. We got it till tomorrow at noon. Gonna make a bunch of videos, but we can't spend a whole lot more. So <laughs> we're going to Walmart. We're gonna grab a couple travel rods to put in the front of that thing, take the STI home, and let's go hit some ponds, man. I'm stoked. This pair does look pretty dang good together, I'll tell you that. <laughs> quick pit stop at the house, we're actually gonna drop the STI off. This is a quick test. Uh, if you guys like this content, like what happens if we were to get one of these in the future? We gotta make sure it fits in the driveway and we can actually get this thing up here without scraping, so let's see what happens. Holy smokes, y'all, we got it in the driveway, no scraping. The thing looks beautiful over here. We got the red, white, and green going on. It's like Christmas all over again. So we have the 2010 V6 Camaro that you guys have seen. We got the 20, what is this, 15 STI, because we used to have the 14 hatch. Uh, but then we got this 15 sedan with the wing, uh, loving it, nameless exhaust, full turbo back, three inch pipes, and uh, four inch quad tips. Digging it. We just got like a muffler to lead on the Camaro. The Tundra's sitting pretty with no exhaust. The Tundra's actually a just a, a platinum. Uh, it's got the TRD grill. And then the R8 is like stock. This thing's quiet too. Like, like the STI is way louder. But the thing does look good. Look at this collection we could have. God dang. I'm gonna have to pick us up one of those R8s, man. You can get them for cheap. Nowadays, you can get like a 2009. Like this one, I believe, is a 2009 for like 60 grand. You can find them. I literally found one on Craigslist recently for about that price. Let's say we could offer 58 cash. That's like 5,000 over what we paid for the Tundra. Even less, actually, because we paid like 54 for the Tundra with taxes and everything. That was for some modifications, though. We ain't paying 54 grand for a Tundra, but this one had like the lift and it's the platinum and all the good stuff. So it had a lot of additions. It was low mileage when we bought it. Now she's creeping up on like, she's just hit 60,000, I think on the Tundra. Anyways, this is an R8 vlog. We're gonna go ahead and head over to Walmart, grab some portable rods, and uh, catch you guys at the ponds. Ooh, you guys ain't gonna believe this. The travel rods fit right in the back. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are about to head out. Literally, I just gotta take off a couple reels now. We won't even have to stop by Walmart because we found out that that rod holder with our two-piece rods actually fits in the car. We were unexpecting that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some reels off the big rods, and then we're just gonna put those in the uh, front trunk space, and we're gonna hit these waters. Sweet, so we are rocking the SLX DC, the Metanium DC, and the uh, Scorpion DC. Yeah, let's go ahead and put them up front. Extra plastics, never know what might happen. Guys, last but not least, since the big tackle box does not fit in the R8, we are gonna take the little Adidas bag. We got plenty of Guggen baits in here. We're gonna take some cranks, some swim baits, and the terminal tackle hooks, weights, all that such, and we are gonna head out of here right now. And we're off. Just like that, y'all, we have rolled up to the first pond in the R8. This thing is sick. We've actually fished this pond before. It's known for maybe some smaller fish, some numbers, and we're just trying to get a little catch for you guys on today's video. Uh, you'll see the Plano travel tube fit nicely inside of the R8, and uh, we've got some travel rods here. These are rods that I no longer use and endorse. You guys know that. This thing just happened to be sitting up in the attic, and I needed some on the fly, and it saved us a trip to Walmart, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and rig this thing up and try and catch us a little fish or two. Let's go. We got the mystery tackle box, baby. We got the money bag. We got all the goodies. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this backpack. It's got some cranks, some swivels, all the goodies. Ah, we'll be ready to go. Oh yeah, we need another reel. Is that like a feeder? Yeah, I think maybe we should walk to the left with the way the wind's blowing. Man, the water is crystal clear and there's like some weird current. It's going in like a circle right out here in front of us. It's pretty crazy. Maybe this will uh, be a good spot. We're gonna hit this one first. I think we're gonna try the other side of this pond, you guys. There's no bites on this side in the first 10 minutes, so we'll see what happens over on the other side. All right, guys, so the bite's a little slow today, and I just took a second to stop and re-rig. This is called a drop shot rig. Very popular, especially in clearer water, winter temps, when the fish are maybe not as active and the bite is a little bit more finicky. And essentially, you've just got a worm elevated a little bit off of the bottom of the 
of the pond here and you're just popping it along the bottom and it's a really easy meal for these things to eat this is just a soft plastic worm and uh, everything from the line hook weights and soft plastic worms i'm throwing right now i get for 30 percent off online and i'll link that uh, down in the description for you guys if you are interested but we're going to see about getting our first fish out here on this rig right here the drop shot setup I'm thinking this might be the best bet to get nibbles oh i had hits I think, I think something's got it. I've got one. I've got, I think I have a decent one. I think I've got a decent one. Wow. Second cast with the drop shot, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, he's not half bad. There we go. First fish of the day, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. With the R8 at the ponds, baby. It's too easy out here. <laughs> now Devin's about to rig herself up one. She's ready. She's ready. He had it for those whole like 10 or 15 seconds uh, that I was curious if I had a bite for sure. I felt a couple nibbles and I was like, I got one, I got one. And then I didn't feel them anymore. There wasn't much weight there. And so you just want to kind of sit and let everything just rem keep your line tight. Don't allow any slack in your line. And if you can see your line moving or you feel some more bumps, you know you got a fish on. And as soon as I saw that line kind of creeping from the right to the left, I was like, oh, he's swimming with that worm in his mouth. And I went ahead and set the hook and I brought him in. So that is what we are here to do today, baby. I'm talking about you. First fish of the day out here with the R8, y'all. We are pulling through. I'm so stoked on this one right here. Literally paid almost $400 to try and take this thing out and catch a fish for you guys. I hope you're enjoying it so far. We are having a blast. That's just the first one on the drop shot rig. We're gonna try and get a few more. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's get a line back in the water. I think we're gonna rig up another one. This is gonna be getting hits all day, I can guarantee you. The drop shot is where it's at. This is clear water, it's cold temps, winter time, and I'm telling you, when the bite is finicky, you rig yourself up something like the drop shot. Let's do it. Check this out, crystal. Clear water. Watch this. Y'all ready? Off he goes. <laughs> Getting bite. Getting bite. Got him. Oh yeah. That's number two. <laughs> First cast in this new area. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Perfect hook set right in the top of the mouth. Look at that little dude. First cast right over here in this area. My first fish of the day, guys. Side on the drop shots, casting out as far as we can, letting it sit, just barely popping it along and felt a couple nibbles. Wanted to make sure he had it, so I let it sit for a little while longer, cranked down the slack and set the hook. Pulled in this little guy. <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome, guys. Two fish in like five minutes. Literally, we both just rigged these up. No <laughs> way. <laughs> so much fun, you guys. This is a dream. Taking out the R8 on a beautiful sunny Texas day, catching some fish. Let's do it. Well, that's a bummer. That spot looks pretty juicy. I think I've actually heard of some people catching some big ones over there. You just got to risk it, though. So. I don't think we're going to be trespassing today. That's someone's private property right there. Guys, we have, even though it only seems like a minute or two for y'all, circled this whole place. The R8 is way on the other side of the pond. This is like the biggest rock around this place. Nice little vantage point. See if I can't catch something off of here. Otherwise, Devin and I might split. Look at this. We got a miniature pond up here. Dang, I can see for a mile. All right. I'm going to cast off this rock. Whoa, almost fell off this rock. Where the hell did they go? Yeah, I don't know. They're not really hitting anymore. I think we should make our start making our way back. <laughs> it's not that bad, right? <laughs> All right, y'all, we caught a couple fish. We hit the skate park, and now Devin and I are gonna go grab some lunch and think of what else we can do with this R8 and the time we have with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We literally put this video together because now that we've started to have a little success with YouTube, we've started to make some money, uh, a few thousand bucks. We figured we'd spend a little bit and uh, try and freshen up the content, do something new for you guys. You're probably tired of seeing the Subaru, and if not, we'll make some videos with that, the STI. It's always a ton of fun, and also the Camaro, the truck. We, you know, we try and go off-road and dabble a little bit with the vehicles. We're way into cars, Devin and I. I've been a valet for the last 10 years, so it's fun being able to take something like this out for a day, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this video along with the next couple ideas we have in store for you. And with that, we really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching these videos, and that is why we're spending this money. We literally just got the A7 III camera that we're filming on. Uh, we were constantly buying new fishing gear for these videos, and uh, you know we're spending a lot more than we're making, but at the same time, we see the bigger picture and we know what's coming if we have a lot of fun with you guys here. So go ahead, share this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace. <gasps>